Hello everyone, I am professional PvP analysis person and person, and this is my first ever professional PvP analysis, and today I will be analyzing the Skyfire vs Natty Ducks PvP battle that is suspiciously 10 minutes and 18 seconds long. And so we begin the battle with Skyfire flying in on the unsuspecting Natty Ducks. And wait a minute, Natty Ducks is completely naked. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought they were doing a little bit of different sword fighting here. You know, things look like they're getting a little feisty here. But all right, let's just uh, let's just continue with this PVP analysis. All right. Thankfully, it looks like Natty Ducks was able to get himself clothed before getting the video demonetized for showing too much nudity. So that's very nice. Looks like he's already gotten used to Skyfire invading him while he's unsheathed, but that's all right. Some people be like that, you know? All right, so back to the actual PvP. Okay, we see here that Natty's getting chased. He's getting absolutely clapped. He's getting wombo compered. He's defenseless. He's getting pinged by the bow, you know, getting shoot from afar. He can't really do anything. He's not getting any hits in and his hits are doing nothing. So that's not very good. He's gonna have to do something, right? Well, you know what he does? He decides while he's getting hit with the sword, he thinks that's a good idea to ping Sky with a bow. Okay, I'm not joking. You're seeing it right here. He's trying to ping Sky with a bow when he's getting hit with a sword. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, you know what? I wouldn't really know what to do either if I was attacked and naked by some random guy wearing some diamond stuff. I mean, like, you know, I don't even know what he gangs up on. It's Natty while naked, man. Like, come on, man. Like, what the heck? You didn't let him change his clothes first. Like, you know, I'm just saying, you know, he's getting clapped here, but like, you know, if I was in his situation, I'd be clapped also. I don't even know how he's holding himself this long, you know. Those totems, they're helping a lot. Alright guys, it's only a few seconds may have passed for you, but for me, a few millennia have passed. It finally came to my mind that I was making a PvP analysis on two young teenagers fighting in a digital Lego game. It finally came to mind that that's what I was doing. And for that reason, I had to go on a spiritual journey as you see here. I, I had to wonder why. Why was I making a PvP analysis? Why was I analyzing a digital Lego game? All these thoughts came into my mind and that's why the spiritual journey commenced. I had to ponder, reasoning, thought, why did I do this? Why did I waste almost an hour making a less than 3 minute video on a PvP analysis? Why did I do this? Do I know why I did this? No, I do not. Why have I wasted my time? But, as I have wasted my time, time has not been wasted. Because the reason why I have done this is completely just. The reasoning was due to Natty Duck's complete determination, tenacity, the will to survive while being attacked by the Tyranius Skyflyer, okay? Skyflyer was high in his tyranny over the weary, the weak and weary Natty Ducks. His eyes were teary, body is weary, Natty Ducks had nothing, but he, stepped, he still had the will to live, and that's why, for this reason, that I continue this analysis. Because if nobody won't, somebody will, and that somebody is me. For that reason also, I must commence this PvP analysis yet again. For this reason, I have to continue forward with the analysis. Why? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Natty's duck determination had left me inspired, so I must continue. So now, I will be back with the PvP analysis of Natty Ducks and Skyfire. But wait, looks like I just got a DM and a special request from Mr. Death by Dying 23 to analyze his PvP battle with a zombie. So, looks like we're gonna have a filler up real quick and we're gonna go back into the PvP. Alright, so we just see some like punching zombies and stuff, alright? So that's pretty cool, I guess. I'm going to have to ask you to stop punching me. Excuse me, what the frick did I just hear there? I'm going to have to ask you to stop punching me. I'm going to have to ask you to stop punching me. Yo, my man's told me he was just fighting some zombies, man. Like, this this doesn't sound like he's just fighting them. This sounds like something criminal here, man. What the hell? Like, my man, Death, I, I think you need to tell me something here, man. Like, what's going on here? I don't, 
don't think you're just fighting these guys. Like, you know, if you're going to talk to me, you know, I'm, I'm always in the Discord DMs, I'm just saying. I don't even know if it can continue this analysis. I'm going to have to cut a shot, I think. I mean, the desperation he had in his voice, man. Like, there's no way he was just fighting the zombies. Like, look, I don't even know if I can, like, upload this stuff onto YouTube. This just isn't right. Yet again, I'm at the beachfront. And I'm yet again realizing, what was the point? Why am I doing this? All of this pain and suffering that death by dying had gone to. This is why I must continue. I have yet again left for a millennia while you guys have only seen a few seconds gone. But the show must go on. And as such, I will let it go on. The show will go on. The Natty vs Sky PvP analysis. But I ain't going back to the death PvP analysis. That, that was too much for me guys. Like I think I think that was way too much. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the Sky vs Natty PvP analysis. Alright everybody, we are finally back into the Natty vs Sky Flyer PvP analysis again. After all the trauma and everything that we've been through on this journey back into the PvP analysis, we are finally here. And so I must analyze this PvP like I said I would. As we see throughout the battle, Skyflyer thrusts his trident to compensate for his tiny, minuscule, pathetic, 3 inch micro D diamond sword. To compensate for the diamond sword, he uses his trident to reach into Natty Ducks. Many people say that size does not matter, but in most cases that is not true. Size always does matter, and as we see here, Skyflyer thrusting his trident shows that the size of the trident matters more than the willpower and strength of the diamond sword. Usually, when someone is weak, defenseless, and no longer even fighting you, you'd usually stop attacking them. You'd at least lay down just a little bit. But as you see here, that does not happen at all. We just see a villain. A villain here, okay? Skyfire is a villain. Sky is not a normal, respectable person. Instead of going in and stopping, he could have easily done that, but no. Instead, he goes for Natty, toying with him, okay? Just like a dolphin does to a fish, man, okay? This isn't fair. He's just just attacking Natty like a little child. This isn't fair. Dare I even say illegal, okay? Natty Ducks is completely defenseless, okay? Only until now, again, has he started fighting. But he was defenseless for an entire minute, just sitting there, taking it like a man, okay? But Skyfly, he is not a man. He is a disrespectful human being against this defenseless creature. This this is terrible. Natty has completely given up, but Skyfire is relentless. He will not stop shooting his bow at him. He will not stop shooting his shot at Natty Ducks. Okay, even as he goes into the corner, defenseless yet again, he takes it, he takes the arrow shots and even builds something. And then Sky goes in, he goes in balls deep, all in, and then Natty, he just shoots a bow, I don't know why, but he's doing it anyways. It continues, it just keeps on going. This this doesn't work, this isn't right, this just doesn't happen. He's defenseless still, even as he runs away, he just keeps running. He runs, he tries finding back, but no, it doesn't work. He flies away, he makes it to safety, finally. But Natty Ducks is given a false sense of security, because there is a villain equal to Skyflyer and villainous thought and tyranny and that is TC Gamers. TC Gamers has plotted against Natty Ducks with Skyflyer to kill Natty Ducks, okay? This was terrible as we see here Natty Ducks gets destroyed just like that in one hit. Betrayed. He thought TC was on his side but that was not true. It was a very sad story and thus the end of the Skyfire vs Natty Ducks PvP analysis has ended. The analysis that was not just any other analysis, but a thought on humanity itself, on the way we think, on the way we act, on the way that humans themselves be like that. And by that, the PvP analysis has ended. A sad story between two fellow teenagers fighting each other in a Lego block game. Throughout history, this will be thought not as just any other analysis, but will be taught throughout the generations to come as a way of life and how humanity has become the way it is, on how 
we as a civilization have become a sad tale of a young man who lost to a other man who was a little bit older I think I don't really remember but that's the story a very sad story and by this we have stopped we have entered the PvP analysis Alright, so that's it for the Natty Ducks vs. Skyfire PvP analysis. If you want a part 2, aka season 2, just like the video or something, I don't know. I don't really care. I probably won't make another season. But yeah, that's it. Goodbye.